Welcome to this episode of The Gunman. This video, I'll just be taking you through the prep work on this XF Jaguar. So, I'm going to be preparing it, um, doing dry sanding techniques, um, using what I've found is the best way for success. So, starting here, I'm just using a damp rag to wipe off any dirt and dust off the blend panels and around the door handles and under all those mouldings that we've taken off all around those tail lights and then I've just got a dry rag and I'm, I'm drying it off here just to um, get rid of that water. Now a lot of uh, painters still use wet rubbing um, I personally don't like it um, it's it's a lot messier it, take, it actually takes a lot longer too and um, yeah, so this is the way that I've found is the best way to do it. So what I'm doing there is just mixing up some fine filler, um, not not a, a bog or what, what we call bog, um, not a heavy bog, just a, a fine uh, glazing putty. Um, and then I'm going around and checking for pinholes uh, that may be left behind in the repair. I find you're better off putting them in first rather than uh, later. So this is just a quick look at the colour. Um, it's uh, grey metallic. Uh, I haven't. I'm not going to go right into depth with the colour, but um, yeah, just a quick look at it. Um, yeah, you can see that that top section of this sprout card was quite red. I just added a little bit of yellow, blue, and a bit of silver into it. So um, now we'll start blocking the car down. I'm using 180 on this job. Um, now one thing that I will say that when you're uh, sanding. Every job's different. So this this job had um, big repairs all through those two doors, um, and you really want to block right into it. That's why I'm using 180, and you're just using the weight of the uh, the sandpaper. You're really not pushing any any further into it because these panels these days are quite thin, and if you push any pressure onto that, you'll end up actually sanding dints into it. So um, if it was just a smaller repair and you were happy happy with the repair, you may not have to use 180. You could probably go something like 240, um, depending on how confident in the panel meters work you are, pretty much. So um, just blocking the whole thing down, just uh, see how I'm using long uh, strokes of the block. You don't want to do uh, too small of a stroke or else um, you're not going to get the whole panel flat. So the idea of blocking it is that you're going to knock the low spot the high spots down and then block them evenly to the rest of the panel so i've guide coated it before i did that now when you're dry sanding in just keep it clean is the best uh advice do one set of sanding blow it off and then next up i'm going to be using 320 to get rid of the 180 scratches um, and I'm using the guide coat. The first time I was using the guide coat, we were using it to uh, sanding highs and lows. This time we're using it to make it so that those 180 scratches are going to uh, show up when we're using the 320 grit. Um, and as I say about just different methods, if I had have used 240 to block it down with, you might not have to go 320. You could probably go something like uh, 400 and then 600 or 800 over the top of that. So this is 320, I've sped it up here as you can see just to um, you get the idea of what I'm doing. But just going over every part of the panel, make sure the um, uh, all those 180 scratches are completely taken out because if you miss them and just uh, go and paint over those deep 180 scratches then you'll, they'll end up showing up uh, once you get some colour onto it. Um, I like to use the interface pad on these, uh, these orbital sanders. Um, it's just a little foam pad. Um, next up, I'll go around doing all the primed edges with a piece of 500 on a soft pad. Just running your hand over it once you've done it, just to make sure you're happy that it's nice and smooth. So next up, I've done all those edges. I'll go around with a piece of 600 over the top of that 320 and also over the blend areas. Uh, 600 is usually pretty okay to clear over but these days I've been going over the top of the 600 with a piece of 800 just by hand just to take it down to that little bit finer of a sandpaper grip so um, doing dry sanding one thing I've found you have to be careful of is 
with a fresh piece of sandpaper, you'll do the blends. Um, it's not so bad because I've got the dust extraction, but if you go and sand over the primed area, and then with that dirty uh, piece of sandpaper, rub over the blends, you can actually end up with that, uh, the dust from the, um, the primed areas will actually end up on the, the blend area, and you can end up with like a milky, uh, a haze of that primer over your blend area, which is the only clearing, so you've got to be careful of that one. So I've just found a little stone chip here, then just put a bit of, um, a uh, bit more of that filler in, and I'm just using 600 to block it out, and then I'm going over the top of that 600 with a piece of 800, 800 on the one of those soft back sanding sponges. Then we'll just go and uh, grab our high pressure there, blow the whole car off. Um, sorry, this is the next step. We're, as I said before, we're going over those uh, 600 areas by hand. Also getting all the shiny edges that you can't get with the um, orbital sander. Um, and then after this, we'll uh, give it a blow off with the high pressure there. Um, just give it a really good blow off, open all the doors, blow inside the door jams. Um, just take a good three or four minutes to blow the whole whole job off. Uh, this is a quick look at it after the prep work's done. No shiny edges, which is important, or else the paint's not going to stick to the shiny edges. Um, next up here, we've got uh, the car when it's painted. Um, if you want to have a look at some other videos at the end, at the very end, I've got a couple of links to a couple of gun reviews that I've done. And uh, when I actually get around to um, editing the footage, I'll get the, the footage of the paintwork on this job uploaded too. So um, thanks again for watching, and this has been another Gunman production. Goodbye.